day seven. I think it's day seven. Yes, it is. It's day seven. Last. What am I gonna talk about last night? Because we're gonna we're gonna save last night for the recap vid. I'm gonna try my best to get that up tonight, y'all. If it don't go up tonight, it's gonna go up tomorrow. But we gotta talk, y'all. Okay, today's video, today's moment. It is they're fresh out the hospital. They're back home. Home, they're home, the Baker household, y'all. And they're up in the living room having this talk. I love this moment so much not only for the stairs because you know them stairs but also what i noticed too here is the physical touch he's always trying to reach out and grab her somehow someway he gonna make sure he get that touching and he did so man's comes down shirt off y'all because he gotta let that scar breathe and he got to live some stuff some stuff she's seen before but he knows she wants to see it again. So he got the pecs all out, the abs all out. He in his shorts. My man came strolling down numb steps. He like he ain't know she was sitting on that couch. But I know a small part, somewhere in his mind, he, he was hoping she was somewhere down there. And she was chilling up on that couch. But it's Liv talking about... Hey, don't drink all the OJ. He hadn't even pulled out orange juice. But she know he like orange juice like that. That he be drinking it up you know his drink of choice so Liv hasn't been able to sleep since the shooting so she spends most of her nights down here on this couch and Spencer see this I feel like this scene also why I really like it is because it just adds to more of the relationship that the two of them have with each other and that she's able to share her feelings and her troubles with him and also he went through that same traumatic experience with her. So he knows what she's going through. He can relate because he was there. He the one that got the bullet. Also because who else is she going to tell at this point? There's not many people she could talk to outside of Spencer. There's no one she could talk to outside of Spencer about this that she would want to talk to. Yo, my man Spencer, what are you thinking about? Everything. AKA you. You are her everything, my guy. She's thinking about the first time y'all met, first time she laid eyes on you, all those conversations y'all have had, the relationship that y'all built over all this time, the fact that she loves you and those feelings run deep and she hasn't been able to tell you, you taking that bullet for her, her not knowing if you are gonna make it and now for y'all to be here with each other and to have survived that experience with each other and to see her life flash before her eyes like that, yeah, she thinking about everything. Everything dealing with you. Yeah, I love it because she has her own problems. He has things that he's dealing with. And the fact that they're able to share with each other. Yo, talk to me. We level each other up. They know each other so well that they're able to just give what needs to be given to each other. And also, because she stays down there because it's nice and quiet. She ain't trying to deal with Jordan. But my man Spence, you a different story. You... You could stay. Let time do its thing. And while you're waiting, just know there's always a spot next to me on this couch. You always got space on this couch right here next to me. Always space on this couch for you, Spence. And you know what else it is? Is the fact that she is so motivating every time she talks to him. Like she never tries to bring him down. She never tells him he can't do something or he shouldn't do something. It's always a push to just help him better himself she wants to see him be great she wants to see him succeed so she she be pushing him she be the pedal to his bike the wheels to his skates the oar to his boat my girl she is his umbrella she be protecting him she is his poncho and not only was her invitation for him to spend time with her on that couch a one night thing same time every night Sorry. said every night every night because she don't get sick of spence she can never get enough of spence so if you want to come down here she done gave him an open invitation if she is ever far away from home and he trying to use that invite that she done gave him yo you want to hang out on the couch movie night my girl she is gonna book it back she gonna fly back she gonna be there like that hold on it gets better y'all he reaches out and grabs her hand That look that she gives their hands before looking up at him with that same look. But if we make it, 
another. That was a look of want, a look of so many unsaid things between the two of them. And I was just like, damn, I, I feel bad just for watching. But I'm going to keep watching. I'm like, man, I feel bad for them. Give it time, girl. Give it time. We going to get there. And then again with the music. Yo, they be getting me with these songs that they be using in the background. Specifically for Spolivia, though, because they be getting it right with them all the time. I'm like, yo, the little song playing my heartstring. So that was everything for today, y'all. And I'm going to see y'all for day. Well, I'm going to see y'all for a recap first. But then I'm going to see y'all for day eight. Peace. It's her being able to open up to him in this way. <laughs>